How do you survive as a buyer in this housing market? We'll cover that today on Frequently Asked Friday. What is going on party people? Thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna give you three tips on navigating today's real estate market as a buyer with higher prices, higher interest rates, and a remaining lack of inventory. Uh, before I jump into it, if you would like, subscribe, do all that stuff for the algorithm. Thank you in advance for that. So let's just jump right into it. First and foremost, let's diagnose the problem. So housing affordability, according to the National Association of Realtors, housing affordability index, uh, is currently a 30 year low, meaning this is the lowest level, this is the least affordable time that we've seen to own and purchase a home since 1990. Not a great stat. Uh, we've also, so part of that, we've seen interest rates double from the low threes all the way up to the sixes now uh, at the time of this recording. And then, cert and then last but certainly not least, home prices have appreciated anywhere from 30 to 40% in the last few years, depending on what side of town that you're looking on, what area you're looking in. Uh, and there's certainly no sign that home prices are coming down at all. All right, so here you go. Three tips to navigate today's uh, real estate market. Number one, we're gonna expand our search area or I'm gonna encourage you to expand your search area. So if you are somebody that's been narrowly focused on a specific side of town, I get it, you wanna live where you wanna live, but the reality is you may no longer be able to afford uh, that area or maybe there's just limited inventory that's coming up in that area. So one thing that we've been doing with our clientele is we've been encouraging them to consider alternative locations, different sides of town, maybe a little bit farther commute from where they work, maybe some different areas um, that they were, than they were previously considering because what you might be finding is you might find not only more inventory there but more affordable inventory there. So number one, expand our search criteria. Number two, we're gonna look at all financing options. So this is really where it becomes critical to make sure that you are working with a good mortgage broker. Uh, if you are just somebody that typically goes through your, um, your bank or your credit union for uh, your, your mortgages, that's great, they can do them. Uh, unfortunately though, uh, most of those shops are not set up for mortgages primarily versus a mortgage broker who that's all they do every day, all day. Typically, you're gonna get a better result out of a mortgage broker because they can share with you more options. They can talk to you about grant funds, they can show you different loan programs, uh, they can go through different gift fund options with you. So having a good mortgage lender to help you examine and look for the best mortgage option for you and your situation is critical in today's market. And then last but not least, kind of piggybacking off, piggybacking off of that, uh, downpaymentresource.com is an absolute great resource where you can look at all of the available available down payment resource options for you. Everything from grant funds to, to gift funds to different loan products. There's a lot of information on that website. Uh, if that's something that you are in need of, definitely a good place to start and um, look at your options. So I hope you found value from those three tips. If you have any questions, comments, throw them in the, uh, throw them in the comment section. Thank you for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you next week.